Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video on the channel. And it's an interesting one. So remember in the last video I did, in, in the last IRL video I did, I was said I was gonna actually buy a PS5. Um, when I eventually had the money for one. Turns out I got it a little bit earlier than I expected. And uh, here it is. <laughs> so here is the PS5. This is obviously the Slim. I was planning on getting the original, but they unfortunately didn't have the original, so I was kind of forced to get this one. But I mean, it's fine anyway, because the Slim is um, better than the original, so that's good. Um, so yeah, now I own two consoles, this and the Series X, which, which is actually below the camera, I'm um, seeing below it, but yeah, anyway. Well, since this is pretty much, since we got the PS5 here, we might as well go ahead and um, unbox it, because that's what this video pretty much is, so let's go ahead and do it. Play like you've never before. Lightning speed, breathtaking immersion, stunning games. Which I do actually agree with this one. Um, PlayStation does actually have better games. Um, I will admit, Xbox has been like it's been slacking. Yeah. And this was in fact eight hundred bucks. This um, so it wasn't cheap. But it's cheaper than getting the PC, which is pretty much like three thousand bucks. So I'm not doing that. Alright, there's the first part, we already got power cord, that's for the PS5, put that over there, whatever this is, oh it's the, I forgot the PS5 Slim comes with these type of stands, which is for when you way the PS5 vertically like uh, horizontally like this you place these two on this end and it holds it up so it doesn't actually rock so that's actually um, interesting uh, anything else I don't, think you can, I, don't even think, I don't even know if you can actually see the inside of the box hang on right. okay this is the charger cable I'm guessing yep and it is both sides USB-C because this console, unlike the original PS5, actually has two USB-C ports instead of one USB-C and one normal USB, like the not USB port. Uh, that's because they're trying to get rid of the uh, the old USB port. You know, everything's trying to get USB-C, which is unfortunate. We have the controller of the PS5. And we might as well go ahead and we'll put that to the side for now. Stand up for this one. We have the HDMI cord, obviously. Oh, I've got the still more. <laughs> uh, this one's right. And I hope you can see that, but in there is the console right there. So I'll go ahead and grab that out. So we've got the manuals. Don't need, don't need any of that. And yeah, it's just this thing. Alright, time to pull this out. Uh, please don't drop, please don't drop. I drop it, slip it, slip it. Okay, there's that. Alright, so that should be everything in the box. So we can get rid of this. There's the actual console. So I'm just gonna adjust this again. All right, so that's pretty much everything in the box. We got the cords, the controller, the stands, and the console itself, which is actually, the slim is supposed to be smaller than the original and it does actually look smaller. But the thing is, I actually seen a comparison and it doesn't look that much smaller, but honestly, this will have to do. So I think we'll go ahead, before we get to the console, 
let's go ahead and do the controller first, because the controller is the only thing that's not different besides the cords. So there we go. For those that own a PS5, you all know what this is, this is the DualSense. Arguably, at least to me, the best feeling PlayStation, PlayStation controller. Um, I wasn't a fan of the PS, uh, the PlayStation controllers from PS1 to PS4. Pretty much always an Xbox player because the controllers was just more com comfortable. This isn't. This here is an exception, apart from the fact that the thumbstick's not there. <laughs> but that's symmetrical. This is just how most gamers prefer. Comparing to the Xbox controller, it doesn't seem to be too big. As you can see, although it does actually look a little, actually it does look a little bit bigger, slightly. But yeah, and yes, this is an Xbox Series X slash S controller. If you're wondering, so controller got the adaptive triggers, touchpad, everything. I did not mean to turn that on. Fuller doesn't need um any batteries. It already has like a built-in battery pack, and like these, they still use batteries to this day. So that's kind of dumb. The controller and now let's get to the big one all right let's do it and this is obviously the slim the uh the latest version of the ps5 oh god they wrapped this up a lot Drop that a little bit too hard. And there it is. The PS5 Slim. Honestly, it actually looks a lot better than I expected it to be. It's kind of cool. Uh, we do have blue tape on the side. You can actually get rid of these, so I'm going to do that right now. Alright, that's done. So yeah, let's go ahead and have a look at this thing. So obviously the main difference to the original is it's smaller, slimmer and smaller. The disc drive kind of sticks out a little bit more, but that's honestly fine. Um, if we take a look at the front, it has two USB-C ports instead of one USB and one USB-C. That's because, um, they're trying to get rid of the original USB port and they're just trying to move on to USB-C for everything. So that's kind of unfortunate, but I'm pretty sure if you look at the back, we still have the USBs on the back, but no one really plugs it in from the back anyway, even though it does the same thing. But that's pretty much why they include this cable here for with the two USB-C ends. So that's pretty good. It's my first time owning a PlayStation ever. Mainly because I've just been on Xbox the whole time because I honestly just thought Xbox was better. And then the PS5 came out, I'm like, damn, that is a good console. And then a few years later, the Slim came out, I'm like, you know what, F it, let's just get it. So now I own two now. And honestly, it's definitely better than owning a PC. Like, if you want to play, they both have exclusive games, and if you want to play all of them on one thing, you would have to get a PC. But they're like bloody thousands and thousands of dollars just to get a PC and you also have to get a monitor which is even more money so honestly these two are kind of like a budget to that um it's just that there's two different consoles and even surprised the Slim is still even bigger than the Series X even when standing up <laughs> that's pretty cool there you go so what's going to happen with the xbox i'm honestly still going to keep it because there are some games on xbox that i do enjoy but cannot be played on the ps5 but there's also a lot of good games on the ps5 that i want to try which is the why i got it and i'm pretty sure i actually got those two games already i'll actually go show you 
the Xbox has like for games like Forza, Halo, uh, Sea of Thieves, all those games. But then PS5 has exclusives like God of War and Spider-Man. Um, wasn't able to get Spider-Man 2 for some reason they didn't actually have it. So yeah, Spider-Man 2 is going to have to be delayed. And by the way, these two games will be streamed since they're now the PS5. And that's also the other thing about the PS5. You can actually stream games from PS5 to YouTube, unlike Xbox. Uh, you can do it from Xbox to Twitch, but you can't do it from Xbox to YouTube. And that's pretty much the reason why I haven't actually done live streams on my channel in the past because of that one thing with Xbox. But now that I've got that, you'll be able to see live streams from me. And these two games, as well as the other ones, the PS4 God of War, as well as the other Spider-Mans from PS4 to Spider-Man 2, uh, there will be live streams on these games. So you will be seeing them in the future, as well as other games like Dying Light and all that sort of stuff. Might as well add the third one to the game, the trio, make this a trio. There we go. Got a switch as well. So we got the trio of the consoles right there. And this just shows that I do not do console wars because they all do the same thing. It's just they each have their own exclusive games, which are better. And that's the only reason why I got a PS5 to play those games. Oh, and by the way, with these stand things, you pretty much stick these into there. That's how it works. That's how you get the PS5 to stand up. You stick them in there, and then you lie it down, and it basically holds up. Well, yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And, yeah, I'll see you all in the next video, either on Xbox or PS5. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.